Today I'm going to be talking about two very rare sets on an old and new review. And uh, they're both unpainted figures. And we've talked a little bit about unpainted figures on YouTube. I talk a lot about them on uh, the forums because they're so interesting. Um, there's so many sets. And they're, they're some of the very first merchandise available for these games that we love. And um, these sets are probably the most rare Mario set of unpainted out there. Yeah. <laughs> because they're packaged. Now, any, if any of these figures fall out of these boxes or anything like that, um, they're not going to be as, as worth as much. But to have the whole boxed figure set is very rare. Now this is the original Super Mario Brothers set from Bandai. And you can see right there, it's Bandai 1986, which means that, like today, mo more often than not, when a game comes out a year later, the merchandise starts coming out. Now, recently they've started to close that gap a little bit, but let's talk about this gorgeous set right here. Now, I haven't really talked about much, much of these un unpainted figures, um, there's a, there's a big set. These were distributed many different ways. Um, most of which being the Gashapon items. The little capsule items you'd get in, in Japanese vending machines. And they come in little balls and they're wrapped in plastic and they have a little set sheet out in the whole set. But to see this as a complete set of the figures in a box with official packaging and a nice old Mario on there... Um, inexplicably rare. Now right there you can see a trademark 1985 logo that's just the license and then you can see the official Nintendo sticker on there that's like the what the official seal was in the USA at the time uh, and then the Bandai logo. This is uh, something that Bandai has um, branded pretty well. Normally it's just a B or it's kind of hard to find in the package. But uh, Here's an interesting note. This little lineup here is made to look like something out of the game. It has a score, Mario 77050, and then it has World 74 with some art, and then the Time 108, 106. I mean, Mario doesn't have much time left. And then there's all these little scenes. There's Bowser, and there's Peach, and there's... Uh, a fire scene down there, um, lava scene. So a lot of interesting um, little things to note on here. Big Super Mario Brothers logo across the top. On the side, it has some more art, some more. This presumably says 20 plus figures, and then uh, some more art. The bottom also says that here. The sides have some more Mario art. And then the back is just kind of this grouping of screenshots from the game. It was difficult to get these screenshots back in the day. So it's nice to have those. Uh, Nintendo may have supplied those because they were supplying a lot of different magazines trying to get noticed with similar screenshots. And there's a, a little story or something and I'll reveal that a little bit later. But let's... I'm not going to take this out of the package, and I'll tell you why. It's so incredibly rare, I don't want to damage the package in any way. Um, just holding it, I'm getting a little nervous. Um, it's kind of hard to see these figures, um, but we'll, we'll take a look at them anyway. Um, there's Peach, a little Mario, a uh, big Mario, Goomba, a Blooper, a Lakitu, Cheep Cheep, uh, Mario, that would be Fire Mario, because he's in a throwing pose, so that's going to be throwing a fireball. A fire flower and a coin. And then down here you'll see uh, Hammer Brother, Toad, um, what is that guy? Oh, that's a spiny right there. He's kind of in a weird... I'm sorry, over here. We're looking over here. That's a Koopa Troopa. Koopa Paratroopa, because he has wings. It's kind of hard to see. I've seen the set so much that I know what they are. Um, Bowser, that's a Buzzy Beetle, and that's another 
just Koopa Troopa, no wings. Then you have the spiny, kind of see the spines there, a super mushroom, a bullet bill, and finally a piranha plant. And that is the full set of Gashapon. Um, the Gashapons came in different colors. Uh, I believe the Gashapons did come in this um, kind of skin, flesh, peach tone. Um, but it also came in like greens and blues and yellows. Uh, just like the Legend of Zelda set uh, of unpainted figures. Um, so this is an old and new review, right? So we need to look at the newer version of this. And Unpainted's kind of went the way of the dodo recently um, because it is pretty cheap to get your stuff painted and then it's always a little more enticing to the consumer to have it painted. I know it is for me, but um, I do love these old unpainted sets. It's a little bit of history. It's a little bit of um, just interesting things to note about uh, our little history of consumer products. So let's look at the Super Mario World set. Uh, from Bandai again, and that's kind of how these old and new reviews work, is, hey, Bandai says, we still have the Mario license. Let's look at what we did back when the first game and, and the second game and the third game came out and see what products worked. So, obviously, the box of figures worked for them. So, in 1991, they decided to release um, their Super Mario World set. Now, this set of figures is kind of shows how, A, Bandai got better at sculpting, maybe, or maybe just Mario, or how the art is reflected in the sculpts better. It also kind of represents how much more popular Mario was at this time. They spent a little bit more time on the packaging, on the presentation, on the sculpts themselves, um, many things. And it also kind of shows, I don't know, development within the company. So it, it is interesting how, just from these two products, we get a little look at how Bandai operates. Um, so, the figures are better represented on the back. Um, the sides just show art from the game and the box art and instructions, etc., etc. So let's look at the figures. We have little Mario here, and obviously this might just be a guide to how to paint your Mario figures. Um, the set sheet for the unpainted Super Mario Brothers set also had the painted characters, um, but they decided not to follow through and paint. A swimming Mario, right here, and there is a little Lakitu there. And <laughs> Just a side note, the Lakitu in the first set kind of seems almost better than this little guy here. But, okay. There's Mario and on Yoshi. Uh, Magikoopa. Mario with a cape. A Sumo Brother. A Dino Rhino. Fire Mario with his throwing pose. And it actually has a fireball this time. Mario holding a shell. A Rex figure, one of my favorite Super Mario Brothers characters. A Wiggler. A Charge and Chuck. A Boo. That is a Rip Van Fish. Rest in peace Van Fish. Uh, not a cheap cheap. A lot of people confuse that, especially in the plush sets. Spiny. Bowser. We have a Koopa Troopa, Koopa Paratroopa, and finally a Buzzy Beetle. Um... And you can't really, you can't see all the figures, which is a shame. You can't see all of them in the box. This is obscuring some of the figures. Um, but you can see two other items here, the coins. And I've actually taken all of this apart on the forums and on my legacy site. If you look up um, unpainted Super Mario World figures, you'll find this. And you'll, you'll see the coins... And there's actually a full-scale game. I forgot to mention about this. <clears throat> this bit right here is actually mentioning that inside this box, and I haven't opened this one yet, um, is a board game. And this this little bit here, I thought for the longest time were instructions to play, or I mean, were cards, playing cards, because it kind of looks like playing cards. 
but they are in fact instructions for how to play the board game and all these little figures play a part. Um, same with this, where you can kind of see in the background there, maybe not, that uh, there is a board game going on and you can see that on my on my site. And if I remember, I'll try to provide a link for that in the um, description. If I don't, remind me, and I'll shoot that off. But um, more interesting things lie inside. I just don't like opening stuff. So those are two unpainted sets, two very rare boxed collections of figures. And uh, I don't know. I think I might like the packaging of the Super Mario World one better, but just the the vintage factor factor of the first set that I showed from Super Mario Brothers. Um, it has a real nice collecting feel, and uh, that's why it's in the world of... Both of these are in the world of Nintendo Cabinet, because I have all my rare stuff there. Um, but thanks for watching.